But look, let's start with this. 99 cent only stores shutting down all 371 locations due to inflation and theft. Whatever happened to the Inflation Reduction Act? Remember, that was supposed to solve all our problems. As you come in, hit the uh, thumbs up for me, please. <clears throat> the national chain of 99 cent only stores consisting of 371 locations in four states, 371 locations across four states is shutting down. Operators are blaming unmanageable inflation and theft. Theft, okay, is responsible for the destruction of 371 stores. And it goes deeper than that. Thomas Nedza, I agree 1000%. Thomas says Biden, worst president ever. Yes. And guess what? I'm so boring that I have read a biography at least one biography on each president. And I used to think that Woodrow Wilson was the worst president because he did some terrible things. Uh, but he didn't destroy the United States of America or bring us close to that, okay? Biden is the worst president ever. I will agree with you 100%, Thomas. All right, so we're dealing with, and this is fallout from the Biden administration. This chain 99 cent only stores is saying that inflation and theft now we know that the left is soft on crime right so 99 cent only stores are saying hey look we're only selling this stuff for 99 cents a pop some of it is higher but the margins have got to be thin right so they can't take people bum rushing the store and stealing the inventory how long can you keep that up? This was an extremely difficult decision and is not the outcome we expected or hoped to achieve, says Mark Simonic, Simonsic, interim chief executive of 99 cent only stores. Simonsic cited several factors for the shutdown, including the unprecedented, <coughs> excuse me, the unprecedented impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, shifting consumer demand. And look, let's look, let's talk about the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, so you had governors, including our governor here in Maryland at the time, man by the name of Larry Hogan, who is running for Senate. Do not vote for him. Okay. He, when that whole thing happened, this guy turned into a straight tyrant. So if you see Larry Hogan's name on any ballot, write yourself in. Don't vote for him. Uh, he's got the wrong temperament. Trust me. You don't want him sitting in a United States Senate office for six years or more. Uh, so the interim CEO over at the 99 cent only stores said COVID-19, shifting consumer demand, persistent inflationary pressure, and rising levels of shrink. Now, for all of us who have worked retail, we know shrink means theft, right? Uh, and they go on to say an industry term that refers to inventory loss thanks to shoplifting it hindered the company's ability to operate. 99 cent only stores together with its financial and legal advisors engaged in an extensive analysis of all available and credible alternatives to identify a solution that would allow the business to continue. Following months of actively pursuing these alternatives, the company ultimately determined that an orderly wind down was necessary. And the best way to maximize value of 99 cent only stores was to close. They closed 371 stores. Now think about the impact on communities that that has, especially communities where folk aren't working with a lot of money, right? Especially, look, it's just me and my wife, okay? But I like to save a dollar, okay? Especially when we to get anything substantial we're looking at 80 bucks and it's just a family of two um gotta eat three square meals a day uh now not to be outdone look this is this metastasizes because you've got dollar tree and family dollar saying they're going to close a thousand of their stores okay dollar tree is planning to close nearly one thousand stores collectively 
between its namesake general discount stores and subsidy chain Family Dollar. Family Dollar will close 600 locations in the first half of 2024 and 370 stores over the next several years as the leases expire. Okay. So more fallout for the average American. You got 99 cents only stores closing 371 stores you got dollar tree dollar general closing a thousand stores and they're all saying the same things look we're being robbed blind okay we can't um you know can't respond fast enough uh to the thefts and of course the inflationary issue as well so so much for Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, okay? It's not working. By the way, guys, I know you probably heard that the jobs, oh, the jobs numbers are doing gangbusters. We, the most jobs ever. Actually, the bulk of the jobs created were part-time, all right? We actually lost full, we lost 6,000 full-time jobs. The bulk of the jobs created were part-time jobs, okay? So don't let them fool you. 